Question two. So this is it's just a velocity time graph, okay? Maybe uh, let's just put a little sketch in there just to help us, just so we can visualize what's going on. So we're told the speed at certain intervals, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, whoops, and 25. So obviously even intervals along here. So we're told the speed. So it's going to go something like, I'll try and get it kind of sort of roughly right. Um, so let's say fives there. Let's go back tens about there. 15 kind of jumps up a little bit further, jumps up a little bit further. I haven't got my scale very nicely, but it would go something like that. Okay. So got a nice sort of curve idea going on there. All right, so the idea is to estimate the length of the runway. Well, we should know from GCSE maths that velocity time graph is the area underneath, okay, for the distance, all right? There's the distance. It's just going to be that area. So it's just like doing trapezium rule, really, isn't it? Okay, it's the same thing. You need to work out the area of this plus this plus this plus this plus this, okay? So handy if we know how to work out the area of a trapezium all right so even without going and looking at the trapezium rule okay there's the area of a trapezium i'm just going to apply that to each one i've just got a series of trapeziums so remember effectively because you've got the kind of the curve going away we're just imagining straight lines between these so if we quickly work that out it's going to give us five multiplied by so we've got two plus 5 over 2, uh, plus 5 plus 10 over 2, uh, 10 plus 18, 18 plus 28, uh, 28 plus 42. All of those over 2. All right, just trying to do that nice and quick. Um, and what's that going to give us now? That's going to give us uh, 5 times... Um, that's going to 166 over 2, which 5 times 83, that's 415 metres. There we are. So, so there's part A, all right? Nice three marks, really. Now, part B, well, part B is it, it's actually an overestimate. All right, we've overestimated. Yeah, Andy, if I could spell it there. All right, overestimate. Now, what's actually happened is that it's each trapezium... It's like a curve like that. Okay, maybe I've over exaggerated the curve sort of slightly. And we're actually working out the area underneath this section. So we've like worked out too much, haven't we? Okay. We've done we've worked out too much. Right? So therefore it's an overestimate.